again peeps hope you're all well we've got another USMRE meal ready to eat individual ration pack to try out today this one's menu number 14 creamy spinach fettuccine so I've opened it up already just to have a little look apologies I'm sat in the garden again nowhere exotic and let's have a look the accessory pack I've had a look at that's fallen out already we have in that I'll show you that first then we've got some hot sauce we've got a little paper book of matches very nice indeed I'll probably be keeping them we've got some non-dairy creamer a moist towelette latex free we've got two sticks of chewing gum once again they're in that red packaging so I wonder if they're going to have that smoky taste to them or not some iodised salt little pack of sugar, 4 grams we've got some of this genial instant coffee again which wasn't particularly nice me and Candice had that at Stansted Abbott's wasn't a fan of it really and we've got some of our standard issue toilet paper again so let's have a look at the main components itself let's pour them all out very hot day again today we've got a chocolate flavour first strike nutritious energy bar 65 grams we've got some peanut butter uh, 28 grams could do with a bit of a knead we've got some crackers I'm assuming to go with the peanut butter our main meal is that creamy spinach fettuccine we've got the MRE spoon nice and strong we've got a hot beverage bag for the coffee we've got our cardboard sleeve for the main so it's egg noodles, spinach and mushrooms in a cream sauce ok I've not tried anything like that before, let's give it a go we've got our flameless ration heater for that main meal we've got some pretzels interesting, they feel a bit broken up though inside, it sounds a bit like there's a lot rattling around and in this I'm looking forward to especially we've got a chocolate protein drink powder there we go so it looks like quite a big serve in that so yeah that's our food this is <laughs> strangely enough going to be breakfast for me it's the only time I've really got to do a, uh, a rat pack review today so we'll just have to make the best of what we can with it anyways enough yakking let's get snacking first up let's get our FRH going There we go, yep, we've got some steam coming out. Next thing we'll do is boil up some water on that little solid fuel stove that come with like the Lithuanian MREs. So while those two things are cooking we'll have a look at everything else in the pack as well starting off with this chocolate flavor first strike energy bar if we get into it uh -huh, here we go so there we go it's uh very flat, quite solid looking. Oh, it's got some sort of bendiness to it. <laughs> Probably not the right word. Mm. Smells good. Very chocolatey. 
very very chewy it reminds me of like some protein bars that I've had that are like almost like a meal replacement bar um, have a look at the nutrition it's not got a lot of protein in it um, 4 grams, it's mainly carbs and sugars again Mm. Very dense though, um, and chewy. It's got like some bits of rice in it, I think, as well. Oh, it's very nice. Don't get me wrong. Mm. I imagine it'd be quite filling as well. Next thing we'll do is we'll get our our coffee ready for when the water boils. Had this coffee before, like I said, at Stansted Abbots in Hertfordshire. On a day what we can do some. She likes coffee, and she was like, "Nah, this it's awful." But we'll give it another try. I'm slowly sort of starting to get into coffee, but I'm still not a massive fan of it. Always be more of a tea drink or hot chocolate or really green tea drinker I'm, I'm, to be honest I'm not really a fan of hot drinks full stop I mean unless it's like winter or something oh the wind's picking up a bit I'm enjoying doing these rat packs though they're good fun they can become addictive though um, and you start sort of pushing up the prices of how much you're prepared to pay for them and stuff especially if they're rare ones and stuff and at the moment for me I'm just getting into them so I'm just getting basic rat packs and I'm not going out looking for collectors items and stuff like that it's so it could be a bit boring at the moment you know like you're not seeing any particularly rare ones or old ones or anything but it's just the way I want to do it for now I don't want to uh, as I say be spending tons and tons of money on these really I sort of I probably will spend no more than 30 quid on them that's it so and I think if you're just getting into them, just start off with the basic ones, really. Don't go getting into collecting rare ones or old ones just yet. Anyways, right, that's our coffee ready once the water's boiled. Next thing, let's have a look at, let's have a look at the protein drink powder. So it's, it hasn't got a gusset on the bottom. But you can mix it up inside the bag, okay? Oh, it's got a lovely chocolate smell to it once I open the packet up. So we'll fill it up to the the fill line and then give it a shake. Alright, let's see what it's like. So it's a 500 uh, mil glass or a pint glass. Might give it a little stir in the glass as well. So you've got uh, 12 grams of protein in it, 270 calories, uh, serving size is 70 grams, total carbs, carbohydrates is 53 grams, sugar's 36, it's quite high in sugar. Um, as a regular protein shake drinker I know that most of them are they usually do put a bit of sugar in but if you're using it around exercise you'll burn that sugar off pretty quick um, but 12 grams is not a massive amount of protein in in a serving you're usually looking at sort of around the 20 25 gram mark for most like gym supplements and stuff but still um, you know Protein's an important thing that we should all be consuming, you know, whether you're exercising or not. It just helps maintain, you know, lean muscle mass, keeps you strong, helps you repair muscles if you're walking and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of it. Oh, it feels very thick. I think I'll put slightly more water in it actually as well. 
than it's said to. Okay, so it hasn't mixed too well. There's quite a few bits in it still, but not an overly strong chocolatey taste. It's, it's really nice. It's just like Nesquik, really. It's nice. As I say, it's just got quite a few lumps and stuff in it. Um, hasn't mixed particularly well, but no, I could drink that in one go, really. It's tasty. Next thing we'll have a look at is these pretzels. I can't remember the last time I had pretzels. Right, let's get them into a, a nest tin so you can see them a bit clearer. Oh, okay, so I don't think they are, uh, I don't know if they're like those hooped ones and stuff you get, but yeah, that's them there. <laughs> um, see a bit of salt on them and stuff, let's give them a try they're alright, lightly salted I don't know sort of what sort of a which reminds me of breadsticks really uh, slight, a slight cheese taste to them, not a lot no not too bad just the right amount of salt on them I'd say Yeah, as you might be able to see with this coffee, the the creamer sort of sits and floats on the top. It's it's not particularly great. It doesn't really mix in very well. Um, it's one thing that lets it down really with this. Um, some of these US MRE wrap packs is is the coffee, the instant coffee and the creamer. They just don't seem to mix too well together and as a result they sort of cancel each other out and they ruin each other's flavours but yeah it is what it is anyway we're gonna get the we're gonna get our main meal out now because that's been in there a while and you've got a sideways opening on these There we go, you can see it inside there. Okay, let's get it out into the mess tin. Hmm. Like I say, I've not had this before. May or may not like it. Spinach, of course, is high in protein as well. It's uh, one of them foods that, in my job, I really should be eating <laughs> and I don't because I cannot stand it but I'm gonna give it a try anyway gotta try these things in life in ya mm. oh, I just got some on my fingers and I licked it and it don't know <laughs> uh, oh. let's get a closer look and there we go there's like mushrooms in it as well, it's like got a mushroom kind of taste to it as well. So, yeah, let's read it again for you. So it's egg noodles, spinach and mushrooms in a cream sauce. I'm not a fan of mushrooms either. I think this is the, the mushroom smell that I didn't like. 9 grams of protein, 210 calories. Uh, total carbohydrates, 25 grams. Dietary fibre, 2 grams. And sugars, 2 grams. Uh, total fats 8 grams, saturated fats 6 grams, trans fats 0, so it should do. Trans fats are like one of, well probably the most unhealthy thing you can have, like I'd say worse than sugar and stuff. Trans fats and, um, you know, hydrogenated fats, stuff like that. It's all like man-made fats and stuff, synthetic stuff and it's the the worst stuff it's been linked to so many diseases and and stuff so yeah avoid avoid trans fats and hydrogenated fats and stuff where you can although to be honest with you most food companies are, are cottoning onto it now and they're starting to phase it out of out of their uh, production but every now and then I'm sure it crops up somewhere so try and avoid it it's not good it's bad anyway right Let's give this a try. I'm, I'm not going to lie, 
I'm nervous about this because I've got a feeling I ain't going to enjoy it, but could be wrong. There we go. Right. Three, two, one. Imagine it's the aeroplane. Yeah. The pasta's really nice. Um, like the uh, egg noodles, are they? I can't remember. <laughs> pasta. Come on about. Egg noodles. They're quite nice. Um, the mushroom is it tastes very faint I'm trying to get some of the spinach but it's oh. I know you'd say well Tom why did you buy this one well I'll tell you because I wanted to try something new out and the sides looked interesting as well and I thought well you know yeah you can't always keep getting the pasta bolognese ones and meatballs and all stuff like that stuff that you know you're going to like you've got to try stuff so let's try putting some salt in it for the iodized salt <laughs> that looks like quite a lot <laughs> mix that into it see if that makes it any any tastier for me oh we'll see a bit of mushroom I've never been a fan of mushrooms I'm ashamed to admit I'm quite a fussy eater really. That is much better. Oh, that salt is so strong. Oh, the salt kind of almost cancels out all other tastes really in it. Um, but it does make it more palatable definitely. But the salt just kind of blocks any other flavours coming through. Very, very strong salt. Wow. <coughs> but... Yeah, no, it's, it's not too bad. It's not going to be the best one I've ever had, but, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I can finally say I've eaten spinach. Mmm. <coughs> I have thought. Maybe I shouldn't have put all of it in. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's the main meal. Oh. So that's the main meal finished with. Um don't know my thoughts on it really it was okay the salt I think I probably ruined it a little bit with there's some hot sauce as well with it but I don't know really I don't think making it hot is necessarily going to help I just think I don't know I'd have picked the salt out of the two anyway right so we're going to finish off with our crackers and peanut butter and the coffee is slowly cooling down so we'll have that and we'll wrap things up. Let's have a look at these crackers. So they're from the Warnick Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, what does it tell us about them? Three grams of protein. Uh, serving size, two crackers. So I'm guessing there's yeah, two in there. Total carbohydrates is 27 grams. Dietary fiber, one gram no trans fats again saturated fat 2.5 grams total fat 6 grams sodium 115 milligrams which is 5% of your daily value right oh nice hiss did you hear that wow steve 1989 would have been proud god oh, that was a noticeable little hiss i hope you heard that here we go Oh, not bad, not bad at all. There we go, yeah, two of them. Hmm. Don't know if it's shelf stable or. I've no idea. Anyway, let's get some of this peanut butter needed. So I've had this peanut butter a few times before. God, very thick. Okay, the, <clears throat> the peanut butter on its own is very dry. It's got a very, very strong peanut taste. More than any other I've tasted before. Mm. Um, I think this this peanut butter, from what I remember, has got like very few ingredients in it, which is really good. Roasted peanut, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil, rapeseed, cottonseed, and or soybean oils, salt, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin B6, thiamine, 
Um, that's ingredients not in regular peanut butter. Peanuts uh, contains peanut, soy. So yeah, you, you're getting extra vitamins and stuff with this one. I don't know if that's because it's used in the army and stuff, and they you know just want to keep your you know your vitamin and mineral levels up. But that's pretty good though. Um, yeah, don't know if you can see that. There's like your nutrition facts and stuff. It's pretty decent. All right, I've managed to spread it with the the MRE spoon. Let's give this a try. The crackers are really nice, they're nice and dim, I haven't really got a taste to them, right, it'd be very dry so you'd need something spread on them. I think it would be good if, if there was something other than peanut butter as well, um, maybe a jam, that's the thing I've, I've noticed with this MRE is you've got like two chocolate components, so there was that chocolate energy bar. Uh, there was the chocolate protein drink um, so there's not a huge variety of flavours um, God, what else did we have there's the coffee which I'm not holding out any high hopes for the creamy spinach fettuccine as I say was alright um, the pretzels yeah, the pretzels kind of taste like this in a way just minus the peanuts so I don't know, it could have done with maybe a sweet component, like a, a jam or something in it as well, I personally think. Or at the very least, just a cheese spread as well, just to balance it out. So you've got a, a multitude of flavours, but hey-ho, you know, it get you over the bump, as Stray Beers says. Um, that's the main thing, isn't it, really? Hmm. Yeah, I could quite happily sit and eat them. We'll just try a bit of the cracker on its own. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, it's very, very dry. Definitely, you'd, yeah, you'd, you definitely want <coughs> something spread on that. But no, I like them overall. That's that's one of the better things in the in this in this menu, I'd say. Next thing is to try out this coffee. Like I say, it's uh, the creamer and stuff are separated. It's not very good. But we'll see what it's like. Yeah, it's got absolutely no taste to it. It's not even like very bitter. It's just it's literally just like hot water. There's a very faint coffee taste coming through. The sugar is like non-existent. The cream is pretty non-existent. It's it's not great. I'm not gonna lie. If I mixed it with a hot chocolate, I could just drink it because the hot chocolate would sort of overpower it and I wouldn't. I wouldn't notice it, I'd just drink it, so that's how I'd have to drink I think this this particular brand of coffee going forward it's, yeah, it's not great oh, but yeah, it's not, not the greatest coffee ever so our final things to look at two bits of gum so let's get into these, let's see if they've got that kind of a uh, smoky taste again we go oh yeah, they have it's the ones in the red packet and say smoke it's more like kind of like a cinnamon or an aniseed kind of taste okay so it's the ones in the red packet then um the ones in the red packet are the ones that have got that funny taste to them the ones in the clear packet are a lot nicer if you get usmre uh ration packs with the chewing gum in yeah that's a strange one that final thing we're going to use of course is the moist towel it have seen these loads of times but I find them quite funny <laughs> it's just a moist towel at the end of the day really oh I've just torn it <laughs> not very strong then but mm. So, oh no, it's not been a bad one. Um, the coffee's let it down. The sides were good. The, the chocolate energy bar, the chocolate protein drink, although it didn't mix too well, it was still good. Um, the pretzels were pretty good. Nice amount. 
probably finish those off at work and the crackers and the peanut bar were nice the creamy spinach fettuccine was not to my taste but I don't think that means it was it was poor I'm sure someone that likes that sort of stuff will go that was really nice so um, but I've tried it that's the main thing the coffee though was awful um, and it could have done with like a cold drink like a, just a normal beverage base powder as well like a fruit flavoured one or something I wouldn't have minded that so but all in all yeah it's been fun to do another one of these so that has been a US MRE menu 14 creamy spinach fettuccine I've been Tom you've been fantastic thank you very much for watching as always don't know why there's a hammer on the table there a bit random um, yeah get in the comments let us know what you think if you've had this one before cheers for the support as always you'll see me again soon but not the hammer cheers guys see you later bye bye